Hello all and today we will discuss how to create your own Linux AMI and then launch an EC2 instance using your own AMI. Before we jump into the demo, I have enlisted the steps as to how to go about creating an AMI. So feel free to pause the video uh, whenever you're doing or following this demo on your own and follow these steps. So the first set of steps that you see on the screen right now are the steps to create an AMI. The next set of steps that I have enlisted is to how to launch an EC2 instance using the AMI that you just created. And the final set of steps, and don't forget to clean up your resources. So this is very important that you clean up your resources after you have practiced uh, this demo on your own. Otherwise you will be charged for the resources, especially the EC2 instances and the snapshots, etc. depending upon uh, the type of account that you have. Okay, so uh, let's jump into the demo. So just to speed things up, as you see, I have uh, launched an EC2 instance over here. This EC2 instance is running. This is a Linux EC2 instance. Okay, let's review through the properties of this uh, EC2 instance. So as you see, this is a T2 micro instance. This is my public uh, IP address right here. This is my security group and slowly we will um, jump into it. This is the key pair that I have used to launch this instance and this will be the same key pair that we will use to SSH in. Rest of the properties are the default properties. As you see, I have not changed uh, anything else. Monitoring, status checks, everything um, is by default. And I have not added any tags this time, but feel free to add any tags that you would like. Okay, so let's review through the properties of the security group. So I'm gonna click on my security group. Okay, let's scroll this little up. And let's look at inbound. So as you see, HTTP port 80 is open and SSH port 22 is open for inbound communication. For outbound, I have kept it default. As you see, all ports, all protocol um, is open. Okay, so let's go ahead and now try an SSH uh, into our instance. So let me go ahead and copy my public IP. So this is my public IP address. I'm going to copy this. Okay. And I'm going to use putty to SSH into the instance. So I'm going to copy my IP address. Click on SSH auth and browse for my private key file right here. Okay, so this is my private key file. I'm going to open it. Click again on open. And as you see, we are connected to this EC2 instance now. So I'm gonna use a default user, which is EC2 hyphen user. Click on enter. And we are logged in into this EC2 instance. Okay, so uh, since in this video, we are trying to create our own AMI, we would want to make certain customizations to this uh, Linux EC2 instance. So how about if we go uh, installing HTTPD, okay? So in order to do that, I will need to log in as a sudo user or the root user, okay? So let's put in sudo su, and you will see that I have now logged in as the root user. Okay, so let's go ahead and install HTTPD. So command for that is HT yum install HTTPD. As you see, this is the command right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit enter. And as you see, the installation is currently in progress. So I'm gonna hit yes. And the installation is complete. Similarly, just like uh, installing HTTPD, you could potentially install anything else. Let's say if you would want to install Docker, so then we will type in yum, install docker hit enter as you see it is installing docker right now 
Okay, and the installation is complete. So now let's exit this root user and then let's exit the EC2 user. And now we are disconnected from our um, Linux instance. So the next step now is to create the AMI. So let's go back to our um, AWS console. Okay. Select the uh, EC2 in instance that we had uh, just installed HTTPD and Docker on. And I'm just going to name this instance as Linux EC, EC2 Linux with HTTPD and Docker. Okay. This is just to differentiate when we uh, create a new instance using the AMI that we'll be creating using this instance. So the next thing to create uh, uh, is the AMI. So let's go ahead and click on actions, click on instance, uh, sorry, image, create image. Okay, so we'll give an image name over here. So I'm gonna say my Linux, EC2 with, let's say I'm gonna say HTTP, D and Docker. Okay, and I'm gonna give the very same name over here. Yep. If you want, you can just install HTTP, D. I'm just showing you some extra steps, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, so click on create image, click on close over here then scroll further down and as you see you see images uh, right here in AMIs below this so if you click on AMIs you will see that your AMI is being created and it's been created right now okay so let's scroll this a little up keep on refreshing this to check when your AMI is going to be available it takes a couple of minutes so I'm gonna pause the video now uh, and wait for my AMI to show up. So as you see, our AMI is up and it's available now. It's right here. Okay, and uh, Along with the AMI, if you go further down and you click on snapshots, you will see that a snapshot has also been created for this particular image. Okay, now let's go back to our AMIs. Okay, and let's click on launch. Okay, and now we can create an EC2 instance using this AMI. So I'm going to create an EC2 instance of uh, type T2 micro. I'm going to enable it with public IP. I'm going to put it in US East 1A in my default VPC. I'm going to leave rest of the settings as default. Uh, general purpose SSD, eight gigabytes. No tags at this time. Assign the same security group, which is public IP SG. Port 80 and port 22 are open. Review and launch. As you see, this EC2 instance is being launched with my AMI that we just created. And all the other settings are as we selected a few minutes back. So let's click on launch now. I'm going to use AWS key pair and click on launch instances. Okay, so let's go and see our instance being launched. I'm going to give it a name, Linux EC2 with my AMI so that I can differentiate this 
with the other original uh, EC2 instance that we had used to create the AMR. So as you see, this instance is coming up. Okay, it's still in the initialization mode. Let's try and click refresh for a little bit. It should be up in a few minutes. Okay. So this is the public IP, as you see right here. This is our security group. This is our key name pair and rest of all the other settings are the default settings. Okay, so let's try an SSH into this EC2 instance that we have created using our Linux AMI. So I'm gonna copy my public IP to my clipboard. Okay, gonna use Putty again to SSH in. Go to auth, select my private key. Click on open and see if this thing connects. So yes, our machine is up. We are going to use the default EC2 hyphen user to log in. Okay, so as you see, we are logged in right here. Okay, in order to check whether this AMI was truly created, sorry, this Linux instance was truly created using our AMI, Remember we had installed HTTPD and Docker on the earlier Linux 2 instance from we, which we created the AMI. That means that this Linux EC2 instance should have HTTPD and Docker already pre-installed on it. Okay, this is our custom uh, uh, EC2 instance using our custom AMI. So in order to check that, let's log in as the root user so type in sudo su so as you see we are logged in as the root user right here now we had already installed uh, httpd and docker so hence if i try to reinstall httpd it should give me a message that it's already installed or nothing to do or basically it should tell me that it's already installed right so let's try and test that so i'm going to type in yum install HTTPD and hit enter. So as you see, it gave us our expected message that it's already installed and there is nothing to do. So let's now try and install Docker. Since we had installed that, again, Docker has already been installed on this, the latest version has been installed and there is nothing to do. So hence, uh, this particular EC2 instance that we have launched is using our AMI. So as you see, you can basically use AMI to customize anything, any settings, any software installations that you would want by default to be installed on the machine. So let's say if a developer is asking you that, hey, um, I want a Linux EC2 instance with HTTP and Docker, you can install it once, create an AMI out of it, and then every time a developer asks for a Linux EC2 instance, you know that they would want HTTPD and they would want Docker. Just use the same AMI, launch the instance, and hand it over. And you know that it's going to work because it's tried and tested. It is an image that you have created. And you can pretty much use this uh, to install anything and, and create your own custom AMI uh, for your future, um, uh, um, you know, easy to launches or installations. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, exit from root. I'm gonna go ahead and exit from EC2 right here, and this is gonna disconnect our SSS session. If you remember one of the key slides uh, uh, when I was showca showcasing you all the steps was to ensure that we release or uh, delete all the resources. So let's go ahead and terminate our EC2 instance to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and terminate both the EC2 instance. Okay, again, go to your AMIs. Select the AMI as you, as you see it's been selected here. Click on actions and click on deregister. 
and don't forget to delete your snapshot. So click on snapshots. Go to actions and say delete. And say yes, delete. And this will delete your snapshot. So we've cleared up all the resources and we are good to go. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. If you have any comments, uh, please post your comments. If you would like me to create a video on any topic, feel free to let me know. You can just go ahead and post in your comments and I will certainly uh, have that video created. So thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank you.